Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Tracking And even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times, as we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. These musical expressions, the Kizaru remnants today speak Agusi, Inanzo, or Banchara, Nozin, Nosiping, and no island are comfortable with being lumped together with the Suba. At the same time, some of the Kizaru clans like the Karachuanyo, Kowiti, Kizumo, Wanjer, and Waweria are taken to be Joe, Kajak by historians. Nevertheless, the fact that some Kizaru people have been assimilated and adopted the Abakuria Awo, the Basarati spoke a different language and had different language and had different language and had different language and had da 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 somehow related to the Banyar section of the Abalia community. They were the first to come to North Mara and Nyanzil long before all the Luo clans. The few Sarati remnants today speak Alumulu, Inanza and Ali Sirwa, in North Mara. Sirwa, based in Nancha locality and include the Kamsuru in Sunamigori, Kamnara among the Sakwa and Maragoli, inhabit the Lu dispersal point of Yimbo, and all of Huvyobovij, Theodoloj, were a minority Bantu, speaking ethnic group. They had settled in Yimbo by as early as the century. Some of them were displaced, but those who remained in Yimbo formed different groups that came to be known together as Ajwando. Other Luos, the other Luos, also known as Nyokal, are generally a minority Luo adoptees. They were non-Luo clans who were both absorbed by the several strays of its diverse peoples, an intricate mosaic woven through several peoples, diverse peoples, political and cultural evolution. Currently, Communities classified into three linguistic groups, Bantu, Nilotic, and Cushitic, are officially recognized by the government, each contributing to the country's ethnic diversity. The National Museums of Kenya serve as custodians of artifacts that narrate these tales, preserving the vibrant cultures that have shaped the nation. In this kaleidoscope of cultural exploration, attention turns to the Lu community, the Foyuo, a counting influential figures like Rayla Odinga, Barack Obama, and Professor Sam Odingo among their ranks. The Lu trace their roots back to Sudan, settling around the Lake Victoria Basin in Kenzania with diasporic communities in Uganda, Congo, Ethiopia, and Sudan. Their spiritual landscape is painted with reverence for Nase, the creator, with mythical identity of the Lu people. Luanda Mejiz, with Luanda historical identity of the Lu people, body seemingly made of rock becomes a symbol of invincibility until a shadowy vulnerability is revealed, leading to a tragic turn of events. The Lu social fabric intricately weaves together clans, supreme chiefs, Ruoth, and a council of elders, all adorned with regalia reflecting their status. Initiation rites 
like the removal of six front teeth, test courage and endurance, while cobra bones find multifaceted use in heal and protection. Victoria Traditional music with instruments like the abu and the fiddle permeates lua life, serving functional roles in ceremonies and events. Today, as cultural practices persist, they bear the imprints of societal changes. The Lu heritage, a tapestry of customs, language, and unity, remains resilient in the face of evolving times. The Lu migration, a saga by South Sudan, Lake Victoria's shores, and diverse landscapes, and diverse with tales of encounters, dispersion, and assimilation. The Luo Community The Luo Community The Luo Community The Luo Sarati Luos, Imbo Luos, and others encapsulates the dynamism of their evolution from the early waves of migration led by Ramoji Adwang to the cultural assimilation with groups like the Durango connected despite diverse of influences. The contemporary Kentus spectral narrative into Nyanza Basin gave way to a gradual consolidation of Lu presence marked by occasional frictions with indigenous peoples. The Luo community, with its distinct identity and cultural expressions, remains an integral part of Kenya's vibrant mosaic, inviting all to celebrate the intangible cultural heritage that defines this great nation. The cultural practices of the low community, the Vedician rites, and the removal of herself such as initial law, served as a test of courage and endurance. Beyond their symbolic significance, these rituals held medicinal purposes, addressing conditions like lockjaw. The use of cobra bones for healing reveals a connection to the natural world, where the backbones of a cobra were fashioned into a chain for medicinal purposes. The Lu's relationship with nature extended to their fishing fraction, the fishing traps, described as those never going without catching fish, describing of it. Deep understanding of aquatic ecosystems. Hunting. A vital aspect of Lua sustenance involved the use of spears and knives. The hunt provided not only food but also materials for clothing and ornamentation. Feathers from birds adorned headdresses and animal skins were fashioned to clothing. The Lu's resourceful use of nanity and the natural world. The Lu's musical traditions, a vibrant in their cultural tapestry, Kalan's betrothal tapestry, array of instruments such as drums, rattles, horns, the abu, and stringed instruments like the naititi. Music played a functional role serving as a tribute during funerals, invoking rain, dispelling evil spirits, and aiding in the healing process. The abu, a traditional instrument made from gourds, exemplifies the creativity and craftsmanship embedded in new cultural expression. The Wanda Major's local beliefs Oi and Gore Majid Lees. Oi. Mahaya's prophetic visions, particularly the one foreseeing unstoppable creatures resembling locusts, reflect a cultural richness 
where folklore intertwines with historical narratives. The cultural practices of the Lu community, deeply rooted in tradition, have evolved over centuries, adapting to changes while preserving essential elements. The initiation rites, symbolized by the removal of six front teeth from the lower jaw, serve to signal purposes and no parents. Cobra bones for healing reveals a connection to the natural world, where the backbones of a cobra were fashioned into a chain for medicinal purposes. The Lu's relationship with nature extended to their fishing practices, as they crafted ingenious traps from the modno plant, demonstrating a harmonious interaction with their environment. The fishing traps, described as those never going without catching fish, illustrate a deep understanding of aquatic ecosystems. Involve the yourselves, arrows, Absence. Also materials for clothing and ornamentation. Feathers from birds adorned headdresses, and animal skins were fashioned into clothing. The Lu's resourceful use of nature extended to honey harvesting, employing methods like smoking out bees from large trees, emphasizing the intricate balance between humanity and the natural world. The Lu's musical traditions, a vibrant thread in their cultural tapestry, encompass instruments like the Nayati, the Nayati, funerals invoking rain, dispelling evil spirits, and aiding in the healing process. The abu, a traditional instrument made from gourds, exemplifies the creativity and craftsmanship embedded in Lu cultural expression. The legacy of legendary figures like Luanda Major and Gormahaya continues to resonate. Luanda Major's mythical qualities Embodied in a rock marking the spot where creatures resembling locusts, reflect local creatures were as resembling locusts. Historical narratives. The Lu's geographical journey from Sudan to Kenya and beyond reveals a profound connection to the land and its resources. The narrative unfolds along the river Nile Aranello and the shores of Lake Victoria. The National Museums of Kenya beckon all to explore the intricate tapestry of traditions that have shaped this remarkable ethnic group, from sacred rituals to everyday practice to everyday practice traditions. Adaptability stand as a testament to the enduring vitality of Kenya's diverse heritage. The Lu's geographical journey from Sudan to Kenya and beyond reveals a profound connection to the land and its resources. The narrative unfolds along the River Nile, Oranello, and the shores of Lake Victoria, illustrating the significance of these natural landmarks and national museums of Kenya Group, Ethic Group, the National Museums of Most Everyday Practices, the Lewis Cultural Resilience and Adaptability stand as a testament to the enduring vitality of Kenya's diverse heritage. Clans and leadership structures played a pivotal role in Lu society, with exogamous clans organized under a supreme chief known as Ruth. 
The Council of Elders provided guidance to the Supreme Chief, not only tested courage but also held cultural significance, weaving a complex tapestry in dispersion triggered by internal conflicts among brothers Nikango. Marked a turning point. As the Lu separated into distinct sub, the southern Lu, residing in Kenya and Tanzania, traced their roots to fishing agricultural nuances. The southern Luo, residing in Kenya and Tanzania, traced their roots to fishing agriculture while maintaining some Bantu traditions. The Jao Kawangos of Vaji Cultures Interactions with Luhias established itself in western Kenya before migrating to Saya. The diversity within Lu sections, such as the Sarati Luos and Imbo Luos, highlights the complexity of their historical narrative. Kizaruus, originally a Bantu ethnic group, the Kizaru retained aspects of their distinct identity, illustrating the intricate dynamics of Luo cultural assimilation. The Luo's Pukul cultural culturalization solidified their position as a politico-cultural bloc in Kenya. The historical interplay between Luo migrants and indigenous populations, marked by both peaceful coexistence and eventual tensions, shaped the ownership of vast territories around Lake Victoria. The Lua settlement on the northeastern shores of Lake Victoria, specifically in Nyanza and North Mara regions, was not a conquest and a ritual integration, spiritual interrelation. Rich natural heritage encompasses a tapestry of migration, assimilation, and resilience. From initiation rights to leadership structures, the National Museums of Kenya extend an invitation to celebrate this heritage. It is an opportunity for all to delve into the nuanced layers of Lu culture, offering a glimpse into Kenya's vibrant mosaic of traditions. The Lu people's intricate connection to their environment is lives. Lake Victoria shaped their livelihoods with fishing, hunting, and honey harvesting becoming integral practices. The mono plant, used to create fishing traps, stands as a symbol of resourcefulness, embodying the Lu belief that the trap never goes without catching fish. Their agricultural adaptation, influenced by fertile soils and abundant rainfall, marks a transition from pastoralism to farming. The Lewis Fakemko and Hempo, a Sesos and Brachel, the Yabu it's Supernatural, the Legend of Luanda Major, a warrior whose body was believed to be made of hard rock, encapsulates the mystical dimensions woven into Lua narratives. The cultural heartbeat of the Lu resonates through their traditional music, a vibrant tapestry of drums, rattles, horns, and stringed instruments like the naiety. Musical expressions serve not only as entertainment but as conduit circuit ceremonies, resonate circuit ceremonies, burning tools. Cultural significance embedded in every note. Ceremonial rites, 
such as the initiation involving the removal of six front teeth, are more than cultural markers. They embody a heritage of resilience and endurance. Ori. Thank you for watching up to this point. Watch out for the next video in our series. Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence, culture striking. Join us as as we chose us, prejudice ways. Past. Cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence. I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Hey, hey.